cannot get punished, you cannot get caught. If you do this, go and do it. لأن أنت ما عندكش deterrent في قلبك وازع ديني يقول لك لا ما تعملش كده. كويس؟ تفضل يا أخي. Well, self, I said self, self purgative. You know, purgative for those people who come from medical background. You know, purgation, something to cleanse, something to um, remove all kinds of pollutants from your heart. Self purgative, like the like the ocean. You know, we drink from the Nile. We drink from the uh, uh, water that is in a, a abundant quantity because we know that it is self purgative يعني طهر بعضه ببعضه لكن we can't drink from a small pond that it has stagnant water so we expect that it's not clean it's not uh, suitable for drinking or for making ablution and so forth so this is one of the advantages that we have in the Islamic society we have a deterrent in our hearts that stands between us and doing wrong and vices. Okay, so we need to focus on it. Um, right. So this, by doing this, we can think of uh, on a more of a macro level that there is a three-part relationship. How to, we, we, here we're looking at the advantages of the Islamic law and setting the society to behave and function according to the Islamic law. We can think of three parts relationship here. One which is you, the second is the other fellow human beings, and the third party is the ultimate authority uh, who is Allah Ta'ala. So you have like a continuous interaction between these three parts. You do things to others, others do things to you, and then all of this is judged, is seen, is observed by Almighty Allah. You fear Allah, you treat Him well. You treat Him well because you fear Allah, and so forth. Which is something very unique, perhaps to Islam, when it is really practiced in its uh, real essence. Um, so such things, such ideas, maybe will be useful for you when you present what is the um, wisdom of establishing the Islamic Sharia in the society? Why we need it? It is a law, yes, but it's not a law. Because a law, you obey it as long as you fear the punishment. But the law doesn't say that you have to judge things by your own you know, criteria. It is uh, first and foremost set for you. The law says this and that, so you only abide by what it says. Um, so if we have the first two um, elements or principles already um, admitted, clear to your target, your contactee, the person that you are inviting to Islam, so you need to move to other um, principles, like the principles of prophethood. Right? We know there is an ultimate guidance coming from Almighty Allah. We know that there is an end for our life and will, we will be held responsible and accountable for our actions and deeds. And now we need to understand what kind of guidance is this? How we can get it? Right? So now we're talking about the um, notion of prophethood, Nabuwa, and the, rules of the, uh, the rule of messengers. So here we can justify how we can get it. Um, of course, when we talk about the targets, and inshallah we will elaborate on this uh, particular point in detail in due time, when talking about the targets, we, we will try to categorize them. And um, among them is the people of the book, what we call as Ahlul Kitab, people of the book, because this is how they are described Ahlul Kitab in the Holy Quran. One of the things that make your job a bit easier when you are addressing someone who is from this category is that you have common grounds between you and them. You know, they believe in Allah, we believe in Allah. They believe in the last day, we believe in the last day. They believe in prophets and we believe in prophets. So, alhamdulillah, we could, we could um, get 
at least three points of what we call as denomination. Something that brings us together and makes our um, job as uh, human beings and as invite um, uh, preachers to Islam a bit easier. It's like a family. When you sort a problem between two members of the family, the same family, it is easier than sorting a problem between two people who are not family members. Because you have um, some kind of uh, values that you honor and make you uh, a little bit uh, more um, um, uh, intelligible and um, admissible to others as long as you have this bond between you and him or her which does not exist in terms of people who are stranger to one another so the idea of inclusiveness and integration would help you as a Muslim preacher in bringing them into the fold of Islam you just need to um, highlight and underline the particular missing points in their message in their religion so you connect them to the, uh, these points as they exist in Islam and inshallah we will discuss this in due time when we come to discuss this particular uh, point and we have a lot of verses in the Holy Quran that invite us to adopt this method قُلْ يَا أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ تَعَالَوْا إِلَى كَلِمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ أَلَّا نَعْبُدَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَا نُشْرِكَ بِهِ شَيْءٍ And we have several verses that have the same import, that have the same meaning, that would invite us to this kind of useful methodology. Um, Right. I just want to skip some of these uh, points so I can like address the rest of the um, more important points in the two other sections. And inshallah, you will receive these notes. Did you receive the notes for the last uh, two lectures, the first two lectures? Right. Inshallah, I will um, continue on this and send you today the um, two uh, remaining lectures. And uh, I hope, inshallah, if you have any further. Um, information about any of these sections, please let me know so we can, inshallah, include them in our discussion. Uh, now we come to the second question, which is when to present. I'm talking about time, and time is very important, very important. And you can think of time, you know, away from preaching Islam in your daily life. You know, when you are married, and you want to discuss something with your um, husband, with your wife, and you, you know, you select the wrong time. You know, you want him to buy you a new, uh, I'm not saying a new car because this is not going to happen. Uh, maybe a new, um, new dress, new shoes. You know, like anything that you want, and you choose the wrong time when you just come from work. And she can imagine, he comes from work and he's being yelled at from his boss all the day and he's come like, we call him fuming, like you know, like واحد جاي كده زي القطر بتاع السكة الحديد جاي بيدخن, fuming. I told you, I want to buy a new car. And you want to buy a new car. It's the wrong time, you know. This is the same way you have to adopt your methods of preaching Islam in the right time. Uh, someone just come to this country for tourism for two days and obviously they do not have time